ever since the release of Comfy UI, people from the community started to create add-ons, which can be of great help to do certain things differently or better. Uh, one of these add-ons is called Efficiency Nodes, and it can help to create a more streamlined workflow. This is the basic workflow. It has seven nodes only, uh, but because of these interconnects, it already starts to look a little bit like spaghetti. And with the efficiency nodes, the seven nodes are uh, combined and uh, they are end up with only two nodes with a bit more functionality in each node. It looks uh, much better to the eye, in my personal opinion. And this, you may remember, was the workflow for SDXL, which has this base uh, sampler and followed by a refiner sampler. And with the prompts, there's a whole lot of stuff uh, that we have to prepare to get it all working. <laughs> this already starts to look a little bit chaotic. With efficiency nodes, it looks like this. And uh, yeah, th this is more streamlined, isn't it? So I prefer to use these efficiency nodes to build my workflows. Let's see how we can install and use it. To install the efficiency nodes, we can use the manager that we installed in the previous video. Let's click manager, then click install custom nodes. And now we do a search for efficient. Well, maybe a couple of letters is enough. Yes, here we see the efficiency nodes. Well, we can first click on it to see what it does. It goes to the GitHub page. And there we see that indeed you can create quite nice streamlined workflows. And it also has a couple of other functions, one of which is the X, Y plot. Maybe that's a future video. So let's go ahead and install it. That's only to click the install button. I have already done that. That's why it does not show. I can only uninstall it or disable it. Once installed, uh, restart uh, Comfy UI and now we should have the efficiency nodes here. Right click, add node. It should be here in your list. And here we can find a sampler or a loader. So let's start with the loader. We have an efficient loader. Let's click it and there we have it. That efficient loader that uh, combines the checkpoint loader, uh, the prompt positive, the prompt negative, and the image size. So I can simply delete all of those, delete, and have this efficient loader instead. And uh, let me enlarge it a bit, it gives me more room for my prompts. Well, uh, now we have these uh, buttons over here to make connections, but uh, we are not going to use this simple sampler. We are going to combine uh, the sampler, the VAE decoder and the image display. Let's delete those and let's right click and go to the efficiency nodes again and find now a sampler. There are two the uh, simple one and the advanced one. In this case, we check the simple one. And now I can line them up. Uh, a neat little trick is you can uh, press the shift button and then move around and then it will snap to the grid. And also with resizing, if you click the shift button, it snaps to grid. And uh, there's also uh, an add-on to automatically snap to grid. We will show that uh, later in a later video. Uh, let's now enlarge this a bit. Well, maybe enlarge this then for the same amount for a bit more tidiness. And now all we have to do is simply connect all these nodes. Uh, and that is quite easy. All of them. Uh, what we can also see is this uh, efficient loader not only loads the checkpoint uh, that you can uh, choose from all the checkpoints that you have put in your model checkpoint folder, 
Uh, it also has a separate VAE option, so you can use different VAEs than the baked in one. Some checkpoints don't even have a VAE baked in and you will need a separate VAE. So that's uh, quite nice that it has that in this one note. You can also do clip skip. Uh, that's for a future video maybe. You can also load a LoRa also for a future video. That's all included in this one loader. And then we go to our positive and negative prompt and we can uh, have the image size here at the bottom. We have all the normal uh, sampler uh, parameters over here. So let's generate an image. I added a prompt, so let's hit Q. And what we see is also during the rendering we get this uh, display. Uh, well, you may like that or you may not like that. It is something that we can switch on and off here with the preview method. If I select none, then it will not show it at all. Uh, maybe it even uh, renders a little bit faster, I don't know. Also the VAE decoder is built in and it shows the end result because we have selected true over here. Uh, but if you have more nodes following this one, if you build a larger workflow, uh, maybe you don't need to see this so you can put it on false and then it will also not render the VAE which can save some time. So these efficiency nodes have uh, quite a lot of nice uh, options on their sleeve. There also is a fun option called image overlay. Let's first render a tropical beach. I already did that over here. And now let's search for the image overlay. Add a node, efficiency node, image, image overlay. There it is. Uh, what it needs is the image that we created and then it also needs an image that we like to overlay. So let's add a node, image, load image, uh, there it is. And let us load an image of a girl that is jumping in the air. And now we need a display image, so let's do a preview image screen over here, connect uh, the output. Oh, I also need to connect the mask and the, uh, the image, of course, of this uh, transparent ping. You need a transparent ping or yeah, if it's not transparent, you will get the whole square image. Uh, let's have a look what we get with this. Oh, maybe this is a bit too large. Let's uh, make it a bit smaller, 0.45. Uh, and I don't know where it is going to end up. Uh, give it a little bit X, Y offset Q. And there we have our girlfriend uh, on the tropical beach. Well, she is still a bit too large. Okay, you have to play with these values now. Oh, it doesn't change anymore. Why is that? Uh, I don't, oh, because the rescale is on none. Let's rescale and then see what... Oh, now she is a bit small. Uh, okay, I was, uh, I was just playing around with it. Uh, this looks good. Well, uh, it's just a fun thing that you can do with these efficiency nodes. Let's in the next video install yet another add-on which is one that gives us, amongst other useful features, this image browser on my screen, which has the handy function that if I drag an image on the screen, I immediately also get that complete workflow back. So that is very nice to have and uh, it is very easy to install. Maybe see you back there. In the meantime, have fun.